There are a lot of third-party tools out there for Chrome, Firefox, I have no idea on Internet Explorer because I haven't used it in eons. I primarily use Chrome um, for my own stuff and then a time-saving tip that I have and I'll also share in the blog post that accompanies this video is since I prefer Chrome, I have all of my own logins. I do everything for that in Chrome and then anything I do for clients, I do in Firefox. And the reason that saves me time is I don't have to log in and out of, let's say, Twitter for myself and for client accounts because my information is always in Chrome and then I just do everything for clients in Firefox. So it saves me, you know, a considerable amount of time as, you know, the weeks and the years pass by. And so that's one tip that I'd share with you as well is use one browser for yourself and then one, use one browser for your client work and you'll just save yourself a little bit of back and forth. The other thing that I absolutely swear by is there's always websites that we go to over and over and over and over again, maybe several times a day. And in Chrome, and I'm primarily basing this video on Chrome because of the fact that Chrome is the browser I use most often, there's probably similar features available in Firefox and again, new idea on Internet Explorer, Safari or any of the other ones. So if you're looking for something outside of Chrome, this might not be the video for you. So one thing that I swear by are bookmarklets. And you see this entire row up here at the top. These are all things that I get into every single day. Some things are for clients, some things are for myself, um, some things are for both. And it's super, super easy to create bookmarklets in Chrome. And I'll show you in this quick video how to do that. And then also point out some of the other bookmarklets I use from third-party tools. So for example, let's go here to my Google Drive. Let's say I wanted this folder saved on my bookmarklet toolbar here in Chrome. All I have to do is hit the star and that's going to ask me, where do you want this to go? And I'm going to tell it I want it to go to the bookmarks bar. And here I can edit whatever I'd like the title to actually mean. And so the smaller the title, the less room it takes up on your toolbar up at the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Done. And now you see VAF class is on my bookmarklet bar. So let's close out of Google Drive real quick. And let's come here and click on VAF class. And voila, look at that. It opens up directly to where I needed to go. Let's say I don't like this title. It doesn't mean anything to me, maybe. You can edit it. Now it's changed. Maybe I decide I don't want it there at all anymore. You can right click and just hit delete. And look, now it's gone. So these are things that I use all the time. Um, this is software I get in for a client. This is a text app for Android users, which I will actually be talking about in a later blog post. Um, and then you can see project management tools, my password keeper. Um, this is clients um, of mine on a list I have, a private list I have on Twitter. This is just so I can easily click to go directly to that stream to see if there's stuff I want to share, whatever. Some other client documents, um, Basecamp, Infusionsoft, Confluence, FreshBooks, which I will also be talking about in a later blog post um, because there's so much there that's so incredibly useful for small business owners. And as virtual assistants, we're definitely small business owners, so you will definitely want to pay attention for that blog post. And then there's a lot of third-party tools that have add-ons available through the Chrome store. And you can see all their little icons up here at the top. So for example, Hootlet, Pinterest, StumbleUpon, Alexa, SEO ranking information, Shareaholic, um, I have it set up to easily share blog posts that I'm on to various social networks. Awesome screenshot, which I will reference in the blog post that accompanies this video. I swear by it. Um, this is for Buffer, also an another really awesome tool. And then again, this is Mighty Text. Also here, I just happen to like it here more than I like it up here. And hence, that's why I have it separate on my bookmarks bar. So definitely check out what's there that can help you. You know, let's Let's 
Let's go to Twitter really quick just to show you something. Um, let's, okay, coconut chai ice cream. I said that wrong, apparently it's chai coconut ice cream. So these little toolbars up here make it really easy. If I want to share this on Hootsuite, just click the little bookmarklet. I can edit whatever I want. Select my network, schedule it, send now, etc. Same thing with Pinterest. Do I want to pin this? Ooh, yum. I'm actually kind of hungry now after looking at this. And I love ice cream. Food. There, I just easily shared to Pinterest. I could do the same thing with StumbleUpon. I could take a screenshot if I wanted to with awesome screenshot. can write text, draw triangles around things. This works so easy if you're troubleshooting something with a client, you know, to say like, this link doesn't work. Okay, obviously this is all fake because this is not a link. So, but screenshots, visuals can be so much better when you're trying to troubleshoot something with a client, especially if it lives on a website. Um, so these things are just like so easy. I love it, love it, love it. And then of course, Buffer is another tool that's coming up in this series as well. And one awesome little thing about Buffer, I will just show you. So I'm gonna highlight this text, Vanilla Swirls with Spices. Mm. Click the Buffer app, bookmark it, and it's picked up exactly what I highlighted with the text. So if that's the part I wanted to share on Twitter, Ooh, I've just made it so much easier for myself to share exactly what I'd like. And as you can tell, this has saved me so much time. The other reason it's really nice, especially in the social media setting, is by using bookmarklets for third-party tools. If someone doesn't have them on their website, not everybody does, unfortunately, just makes it easier for you to share things that you want to share on various social networks. So again, take advantage of using this bar up here. Again, this is for Chrome. I believe the same thing's available in Firefox. And look forward to saving yourself a couple seconds, couple minutes on different things that all really add up over the course of a year.